Hi everybody, it's Veronica and I just wanted to check in and give you a little bit of an update as to what's going on in the real estate market. And last week, RICO, which is the Real Estate Council of Ontario, stated that in-person open houses may resume in keeping with the Government of Ontario's Stage 3 reopening. However, not all brokerages are going to be permitting in-person public open houses and Harvey Kellis is one of them. I work for Harvey Kellis Real Estate and I just want to let you know that we will continue to do open houses, but it will just be done virtually. So in the luxury home market, the Toronto Real Estate Board took action against the potential increase of the municipal land transfer tax and the decision to do so has been postponed until the city's budget in 2022. So this is another reason to get into the market if you're in the two million or higher price point and hopefully save on that potential land transfer tax. So I just want to give you a couple of stats. The average days uh, on market in Toronto for all home types is three weeks and for a detached home in Toronto is one week. And for <laughs> waterfront properties, uh, cottage country or any properties uh, that are on waterfront, they are going in less than a week. It's, it's still quite active. And with summer in full swing, uh, <laughs> The market is still very, very active overall across the board, GTA, Waterfront, Toronto. And with the interest rates still being low, the buyers are utilizing this opportunity to get into the market and uh, get manageable mortgages. But the problem is <laughs> that we don't have enough inventory. And because we don't have a lot of property on the market for sale, uh, buyers are bidding, still bidding, and driving prices upward. So high high demand and low inventory. I came across a historic chart on the Toronto Real Estate Board website and I thought it was really interesting. I'm just gonna share some of these numbers with you. In 1975, the average sale price for a home in Toronto was just over $57,000. And in 1990, 1990, which is actually the year that I started in real estate, uh, it was two. $155,000. I actually had to look at the number. <laughs> and in July 2021, it came in over a million dollars. It's like almost $1.1 million for a detached house in Toronto, average sale price for a, a home in Toronto. So that just sort of tells you that uh, real estate is an, a fantastic investment over time. And if you're looking to buy an investment property, sell a cottage, You'd, lo you'd like to downsize from your home, you need an evaluation, or you're a buyer, you wanna get into this market and hopefully save that uh, land transfer tax over the $2 million mark, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm here to be of service to you, I'm here to help you, and more, more importantly, I'm here to make your day.